Hi, my name is Peej. Let me not waste your time. Today I'll be showing you how to use time warp effects in DaVinci Resolve. This includes RGB time warp, frame average, time difference, and time displace effects. Let's get started. All right, to make sure this works properly, we need to have our edit in our main timeline over here. And I can see the part I'm going to add time warp effect is this part over here, this part where it zooms in. And then I need to have it in this timeline. If you don't have this panel, click this panel over here, hit the timelines button, and this bar will come up. You can add more timelines over here. And right now, my main comp is in 18 FPS, but I edited it in 24 FPS. FPS. So I'm just going to add a timeline that has the proper FPS. So I'm going to right click over here, go to timelines, go up to create new timeline, and then go ahead, uncheck user project settings, go over to format and change your FPS to the one you use, hit it, create it. So now I have this empty timeline and I have this other timeline where I have my actual footage in. I'm just going to drag this timeline into the timeline four. So I'm going to drag that over here. As you can see, the whole edit is there uh, as long as it loads and it's there. And so basically you go through the edit and choose where you want the time effect to work at. So I'm going to go scrub and see. So I'll do like here. All right. So I'm going to alt click this time. So it only selects this video layer. I'm going to split my clip like that. So that's going to be control slash. And then I'm going to move my playhead to the end where I want it to end at. So it'll be around here when it stops moving and do the same thing again, split that. And then I'm going to duplicate this video layer up. So hit, hold down alt and drag that layer up. So I want to put this time effect on this layer and then have this other one underneath it. Let's go inside our perfusion clip. And the time effect that I'm going to use is the frame average because everyone has that. But if you would like say the RGB time warp, you can get it from my Peach Paid pack. If you want to do the time displace effect, you can actually use Vision's displace node in his pack. So if you want to go get that, and if you want to get the time difference effect, you can go get that by using a duplicate node, which I'll probably show in some other different tutorial. But all right, so I'm going to use frame average. So I'm going to do inside the fusion clip of this top layer over here, I'm going to hit shift space and then type in frame average like that and now it's on here i like to do both and i like to do frames one and so now it's sampling the last frame and the next frame and you can see it does this nice little blurry effect which is also similar to the effect that after effects users use and then once i have that on there then i can start playing it back and you can see it works just like that now i usually have it something like this and then i would like to fade it in so i just drag these corner little dots in and that kind of fades that fades the clip in so it should have nothing on this frame if it's correct which is not and there we go if it's just disable it and enable the clip and then have it cache like that and then it goes back to nothing and so we just have the blurriness for that for that frame and it goes back see let me just use a different effect so we can see that it better like the rgb time warp to do that it's there plays and it goes like that play back and then something like that a little quick but it works now let's do the time displace one so vision time slice we need to put this as the map for it use custom gradient and our there's this three and now it's doing this kind of, kind of effect which looks pretty cool and then we fade that in as well and play this back i mean something like that so yeah, that's how you use the time effects. It usually messes up a lot. So that's why you have to put it in its own timeline, have it have like this whole main timeline rendered out. You can't even use a compound clip. For some reason, that doesn't work either. If it's just in the same timeline, it just doesn't work well. So I just do something like this. And that has been my solution for this. But yeah.